We've had a great show here, and uh, I'd say the biggest response is the uh, the Prime engines. We've certified uh, uh, Prime engines for the Archer, and we announced the uh, STC that will be uh, obtained in September for the 172. So a lot of interest in that. We knew it was going to be very effective for fleets, but a lot of flying clubs that have 172s are really excited, and we've actually taken some pre-orders for it. So exciting times for us as we bring more value to the aviation industry. The other big news is, again, trying to bring value to the aviator, our engine shield and fleet shield program. We announced our first fleet shield customer, Cape Air. It's all about making sure that we get the customers back in the air as fast as possible. So with fleets, we make an arrangement that's flexible for engine exchanges. If it's an engine shield program that's more tailored to uh, an individual, you know, with as muddy conditions that it was here, we've heard that there's a few prop strikes out on the area. and. That's one of the key features of our engine shield program is a guaranteed turnaround time and uh, no hassle pricing. So it's, it takes a really unfortunate event and makes it something that is more livable but gets them back in the air because if you're having a prop strike, you're flying. And uh, that can be, we, we talked to a person uh, just yesterday and they said it was 14 weeks and we're guaranteeing, you know, for the popular models, 30 day turnaround time. That's pretty amazing. There, we've seen programs like this in the past what does Continental bring to it that uh, some of the standalones do not? I think it's the backing as us being Continental and the OEM. So as we get more of those engines online, and we've been doing Lycoming overhauls for many years at our service center, so it's having those cores to be able to do the exchange. It's having the PMA parts, the prime line. So we're right there at the factory. So if we need that case, generally we can get it much faster than going through a distribution center. Final question. For all the folks that are running around here, what don't they know that you want them to know at this stage of the game about Continental now, and especially plants about to open up, yes. more capabilities coming on, so forth and so on. But what's the message you wish everybody had coming out of Oshkosh? Continental is the brand that we've had for over 115 years. We rebranded ourselves this year because we're branching out. We have the Jet A product line. We're going to be bringing other technologies. We are getting into the hybrid work. So. That's part of the rebranding is, is love us for what you've known us for, but expect a whole lot more from us coming forward. And training is fueling the growth in GA right now, and I think that's just going to continue to roll through. Exciting times. Got to love it. Thanks, Chris. We appreciate it. Appreciate it, Jim. Thanks for coming by. Aero TV is brought to you by There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.